Dear Traveller and welcome! And here we are, having an upload that's not three months after my last upload. How cool is that? Is it a sign of the, the new new beginnings? Is it is it a sign of more videos on their way? Well, yeah. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not crank out some more videos? So here we are, and what are we doing today? What are we chatting about? This is a little bit of a mysterious video. Um, we're looking at lenses created by Donald Lens back in 1884. That's right, those things we stick on the front of our SLRs and DSLRs and rangefinders and whatnots. We're talking about them. Now, I'm going to do things a little bit backwards on this video. I want you to check out some photos first. Have a look at these images. Have a little look-see. Wrap your eyeballs around this. Okay, now, I've got a question for you, okay? What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you look at these images? Now, 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 wait, 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 wait. Slow down. I'm not talking about the actual image itself, like the actual uh, um, um, composition and subject. I'm not asking about that. I'm asking about, we're talking about image quality. We're talking about the actual colors, the images, the whatever, all right? All right? Have a look at these images. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Okay. Are they, are they adequate? Are they passable? You know, and again, these are just test images. They're nothing amazing. I'm not going to blow your mind with these with these shots. I'm just I just wanted to get a bit of a ground reading, a bit of a, a bit of a touchstone, a bit of a you know off the cuff. What's your thoughts on these images? All right? Is there anything displeasing about them? You know, do you think they're they're okay? Okay, I think they're okay. I think they're very passable. Okay, now I got you wondering. I got you wondering. I got you thinking. What on earth is this guy talking about? Why have I clicked on this video? I really don't know. The, the, the title was a bit vague. The, the thumbnail didn't make any sense. Pretty typical for this channel. Um, what, what are we even doing here? What are we talking about, mate? Shutter slaps. Come on, mate. What are we talking about? <laughs> I want to save you a few bucks. That's what I want to do. Right? Papa Slaps is here. And I just want to save you a few bucks. Right? Life's getting more expensive. Things are getting a bit rough. We well, need to save a few bucks. All right? I'm going to try and help you. If I can. Right? Of course, I take no responsibilities. This is just general information. Please, you know, consult the PDS for, for further details. Now, this is the lens I use to capture all these images. This is the lens. Okay? And, and it's not a special lens. It's not, it's not that special. This is a step up from the old plastic fantastic um, 50mm um, you know, 1.8. This is the step up. This is the 50mm 1.4. Now, notoriously, this lens is referred to as being overpriced and um, uh, not sharp when it comes to being wide open. Now, no surprise, most lenses aren't super sharp when they're wide open. Of course, you're going to get a few standout lenses that are made by, you know, extremely um, um, well-crafted uh, manufacturers that cost more than a uh, small car and those lenses can probably be tack sharp at 0.95 you know aperture opening they probably can be but we're talking about you know normal day-to-day -day people here with normal day-to-day -day lenses this lens here is renowned for being sort of not worth it not worth it it's the it's the it's the canon 50 mil 1.4 now the reason why it's not worth it is because when you go past 1.8 f 1.8 it just gets softer and softer to the point where it's pretty soft, okay? Here's my thing. I don't care. I don't care that it gets soft. I got this lens for an absolute steal. I got this lens for a bargain. I, let, I basically got this lens as a body cap. Got thrown in with the body. And the guy was like, yeah, mate, she's got some issues, but look, you can have her, right? And I, I, my eyes just lit up. I lit up. I was like, you're going to just give me this lens, boy? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got some issues, um... You know, I was like, yeah, I'd played it down. I was like, yeah, yeah, probably really bad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you know, I'll see if my dog wants to play with it or something. So um, I played it down, but I was stoked, right? Now, there's something special about this this lens, okay? One, if you're if you're thinking, oh, is this like a review of the, the, the 50mm 1.4? No, it's not a review. Do you want me to do a review? I'll do one right now. It's a great lens. Um, if, if... If you were deciding between this lens and the 1.8, I would go the 1.8 purely because it's like a quarter of the price and there's no real big difference. If someone sells you the 1.4 for super cheap, 
yeah, score the 1.4. It's just got heaps more bokeh if you need it, heaps more background separation if you need it, and probably the most important thing, it's just got more ability of bringing in light in low light situations, which I think's for me, that's the kind of seller. I don't care about bokeh, I don't care about um, depth of field. It's just bringing in that extra bit of light and maybe getting a photo that you probably couldn't get with a 1.8. But let's be honest, 1.8 is still pretty fast. So, you know, would I, am I, am I really saying that this lens is amazing? Look, it's just a lens. It's just a lens, bro. But what's amazing about my lens is it's got issues. Okay. And how is that going to save you money? How is my lens being broken going to save you money? Well, this is what I'm trying to teach you. Okay. Calm down. Calm down down this is what i'm trying to show you right let's 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 explore what the inside of this lens looks like let's enter another realm the realm of the microscopic right let's take a deep delve oh my oh my that doesn't look too good does it we've got a whole galaxy in here this lens is so riddled with with fungus and dust and probably separation and and all kinds of hideous things. Look at it. It's disgusting. That's 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 dreadful, isn't it? You wouldn't buy a lens like that, would you? You wouldn't spend good money on it. But, however, comma, look how good the images look. Look how good those images look. Now, 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 now. Am I saying that any lens that has huge amounts of fungus is still going to give you tack sharp images? No, 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 no. This is general advice. I'm just giving it out to your people and... You know, of course, if you probably ran this lens through scientific testing against a perfect one, a perfect copy of it, you'd probably see some slight differences and slight, you know, variations. I'm not saying that the issues aren't there. I just never realized how little those issues mattered to me. I thought, you know, whenever you see on eBay and someone says, you know, it's got a tiny speck of fungus and they zoom in, it's right down the corner of the lens and it's just tiny. I was like, no. No, I'm not buying that. It's got fungus and it's going to grow and it's going to get worse and it's not going to be worth nothing and it's a bad lens. I've changed my whole opinion on that. Um, fungus doesn't worry me too much anymore. It's not great. Obviously, I'm not going to go out looking for lenses with fungus in it, but I'm not going to be scared off by it, especially if the lens is dirt cheap because most people are scared off by fungus. Most people are scared off by dust and all this kind of hazing and all this stuff. They hate it, right? So, and, and that's how I used to be, 100%. But sometimes there's expensive lenses that you normally wouldn't purchase. But because someone's just trying to get rid of it because it's got some, some mold in it, fungus or whatever you want to call it, um, they sell it dirt cheap. And, you know, they'll even show you and say, yeah, it's a bit bad, but it doesn't affect the photos. What I'm trying to say to you is maybe, maybe if the price is right, maybe grab it. Because look at these images. Like, I haven't had a problem with this lens and I'm, I'm just shocked. When I put the light through and saw how much fungus there was in that lens, I was shocked at how good the images were considering. Um, so so maybe let's not write off these lenses, these older lenses that are a bit manky and a bit not so great. And also remember, you can professionally have them cleaned. That doesn't mean that you can get rid of all the fungus. It can still stain the glass and affect it forever. Um, but again, it's looking for those deals it's looking for those lenses that people are trying to get rid of. They know it's got an issue, and you're just getting it for a steal. I would never have tried this lens if I didn't if I didn't give it a go, and I'm so glad I did. I got this lens for cheaper than a fifty, a nifty fifty, and it's and it's a fantastic lens. I'll use it until it dies. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's what this is about. Go, get, you know, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what your experience has been. Is you know, am I wrong? Could you see? completely that these images were super soft and 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 horrible and, and color defective and um i will say but i didn't color correct any of the images so they're straight out of camera these all these images oh sorry probably should have said that from the top all images are straight out of camera no editing um and the camera was very basically set up so yeah there's a lot of work you could do to these images to really make them pop um but straight out of camera i think it's pretty good man i think I think we've done all right. I really do. And this, I just wanted to share it with you because, because yeah, because maybe, maybe, you know, if you're looking for some really rare and exotic lens and you can only find ones that have, that have fungus in it and you're sort of umming and ahhing, maybe, maybe this is the, this is the video that maybe might get you to think, all right, if the price is right, I can give it a go. I can give it a little bit of a go. Sure did for me. 
Um, so yeah, let us know in the comments below. Am I completely wrong? Is this bonkers? Should you not be buying lenses with fungus? Or do you have a similar story where you've got a lens that's got some issues, but it's, it's working for you? Either way, let me know down below. And as always, ha, I'll catch you on that next one. You saw my heart in another place in time. Things here. Look at these things, man. Okay, forget the cars. But look at these. These trees, man. They just look like these ominous, soul-eating creatures, and they're just like waiting. Like, is that just me? Have I completely lost it? Or does this look like some creep show that's just about to? And it's the way the ones are rustling in the back. See the way the ones are rustling in the back, like they're just sort of getting into position. <laughs> just sitting at the base of this hill. And I'm greeted with this. Just staring me out my window. Look at this one.